What's up guys, it's your boy Headlock. Check this out, I'm gonna be go ahead and show you a tutorial on how I do uh, my bass lines as far as the music goes. Um, today we're gonna to be using Reason 10. Um, the, one of the most updates that came out is Reason 11. <clears throat> so for Reason 10, I haven't really upgraded yet, so um, I'm gonna be using Thor, and Thor is gonna be like propped up and whatnot, so you actually can see what's going on. I have a little tip, you know, a couple of tips and twigs tricks and tweets that I use to really prop up my baseline. I know that some people don't really use reason for much of anything because it seems to be like a kind of a, like a joke, but I grow, I've grown to like it. I've grown to, you know, start music from scratch. We'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you exactly how I uh, put it together. So first things first, you got to know how you, you got to know how to use your side chaining and how to really put effects on to your bass so it doesn't sound so muddy, it doesn't sound choppy, it doesn't sound too re uh, reverberating. Um, so, and overall kind of a crisp you know sound for you. Let's go ahead and get it started here. So first things first, obviously you got your ma uh, master section here. Yeah, all right, so your master section. <clears throat> So you go to your utilities, you go um, you go ahead and bring in a mix channel. And then after that will be a mixer 14.2. Uh, and you wanna go ahead and name this as your bass line, I'm sorry, your drums, main drums, that's why I put it. All right, so your main drums should consist of um, just the 14.2 as well as this here. The next thing um, that I'm going to put on here is a what's known as a redrum. You want to hold the shift key so it doesn't connect to anything. And you want to turn off the high quality interpolation, the enable pattern, as well as the regular pattern. And then you want to rename this as mute. You'll see why I renamed it as mute later. Um, next thing you want to put in is a um, if I have it here, no, it's in utilities. Yes. All right, so you want to put on a audio router. And I hold shift so it doesn't connect to anything. Hit the tab key. You see you sh it should be able to, uh, um, you, should, you should be able to see the back side of it. Um, you want to name this as router as well if you want to. Uh, the next thing is you want to go ahead and get an additional redrum. And an, addition, and an extra Kong drum designer. So now you have two reed drums and a Kong. So the whole point of having two uh, reed drums and a Kong is one is gonna be sp specifically uh, tailored to uh, having a main kick and a main snare while the Kong will have just um, a couple of uh, background effects. And then this will be used as the, um, as the side chaining. So, Normally, people will use the M class, um, the M class compressor, and sure, the compressor does a lot of things. But I like to have just a little bit more control of how I um, side chain everything, which is why it, a lot of the music that I put together is you know sounds like it's been mastered. <clears throat> well, most of it's been mastered anyway. Um, I like to have a little bit more control on how the um, the tunes go in and out. So, first thing that you want to do is you go into you go into your factory set your factory sounds and go to redrum. Go to exclusive drum sound. You go to bass drums and you look for cheese. I know it sounds cheesy, right? Uh, cheesy, you use the bass drum cheese to, um, this is the main one that's, that's going to be used. The other thing that you want to do is when you go to the actual sequencer area, uh, you want to go ahead and delete the, the track itself, right click, delete tracks. You also want to delete tracks for the router and you want to delete tracks. Oh, actually, no, you don't, you don't want, you don't want to delete that just yet. So you have just these two here. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go to the actual redrum, the main redrum, which you want to call this main drums. Rename this as main drums. Then you will go, if you have a, a pre-built loop set up for your drums, you just go ahead and um, 
Uh, pull whatever uh, drum that you want to pull out. So I use the bass drum dove fire, which is also in the factory settings. And then if you like, you can go ahead and get like a snare sound. Um, the snare uses basically the like the air sound that you usually use, that you usually hear. Or if you don't house music, you can use the clap sound. So I use the flat one just for reference. All right, so now we have our kick drum. Oh, we actually have to connect it first. You want to hit the tab key. You want to make sure that you have it connected to the main drum, the main drum line, and you should be able to hear it from here. There we go. So now you have your two there. So now how the side chaining comes side chaining comes in is you hit the tab key, and then you take the the gate out for the main drums. And you put it into the gate in. Same with the snare. Oops. So you have the gate out and gate in into the gate. I'm sorry, the, the gate out from the main drums to the gate into the mute. And so every time you make every time you hit one of these notes, it will show up in this area here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn these uh, this particular um, thing on, which this read drum, you should go ahead and route it to the director or the router. And now when you hit the tab, you should see it turn on. Oops. Turn all eight of these on. We're going to be using these later. You can also modify this as well, which I will. I won't actually be doing much. <clears throat> so now you have already five different uh, utility and um, synthesizers that we can use already. Next, you want to go ahead and add an additional uh, mix channel. So we'll go ahead and put on an align mixer, which is a six. 6.2 uh, line mixer, name this as a baseline. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and get a Thor. Put that at 12 for reference, nothing else that's needed right now. So now we have a Thor and all this stuff over here, um, baseline and an audio mixer. So now you have your drum line set up here as well as your bass line set up here. So next you want to do is you hit tab and then you want to take the second um, line out and then you want to put it into the dynamics. Now here's the where the trick part comes in. In order for this to actually work you have to go into the mixer here. Now this mixer is basically what reflects a switchboard or a signal flow board. So if you ever go to a, a studio and they have this big old board that's that the uh, studio audio in, engineer that's that is behind, um, you, it basically um, reflects that. Um, so what I do is I usually turn a lot of these off because I don't necessarily need most of these here. So you want to hit one, two, three, four, five, and you're leaving the dynamics on for it to use. Next, what you want to do is you, uh, hit the tab key. Oh, no, I should not get the tab key. I'm sorry. Um, you go to, you actually switch this over, and then you go ahead and turn these on, which is the comp position, and you want to turn on the compressor peak. Compressor enable it, compressor peak, and you want to make sure that the key is on. And you also want to hit the uh, fast attack. And then you want to go ahead and um, 
change the release button or not release buttons but the release knobs you want to make the ratio as high as possible the threshold um, as low as possible and the release as low as possible we'll go ahead and modify these settings from there so now yeah right so now when this plays you'll be able to hear oh let me uh, turn, uh sorry down all right cool so when this plays when we put the sequence together you'll be able to see exactly um, what's actually being played here so let's go ahead and go to the sequencer really fast here rename this as a snare or snare effects and then we'll name this as the main bass All right, now let's go ahead and put in some notes. So this is where a lot of people get lost at. So you actually do have to write notes in there for this to work. So it is kind of composition, but it's not loop. It's, this part is not actually loop based. So, you know, I know with Ableton that you have to, you know, drop in loops and then the, the, um, the um, I forget what you call it right now. The metronome, yet the metronome player actually plays the loops all at the same time. This here, you actually have to do it from scratch. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how it's done. So let's say, for example, if you're doing a four by four, um, four, four, uh, four, by, four by four drop. So we're going to go ahead and put these here. Draw this out here. You go inside, and then you just go ahead and drop in some notes. There we go. Let's put those at uh, 120. Definitely double check the link too. You put in one. I put in 120. So now we have our um, main drums here. So next we're gonna go ahead and put some notes for the main bass. So we're just gonna go ahead and make some notes up. to the floor. All right, so oops. So we do have some notes here. All right, so now we do have a set of notes here. Uh, so same thing, go ahead and add an additional track one more time. So now we just have our basic set of beats here. Go ahead and double that. Oops. All right. So now we have our basic set of beats. Mercy. All right. So you could definitely uh, see the difference there on how to actually create a beat or a house beat in. Uh, reason 10. So if I were to turn this off, which is the, the compressor, you would hear the difference. All right, now let's go ahead and put a little bit of sound design into the beat into the um the synth itself here so let's go ahead and start with that shorten these down so we go into effects gonna make this just a little bit interesting here state variable we're gonna go ahead and hit uh multi oscillator and then we'll add a little bit of uh what is that there the amount of detune 
So we bump up the detune a little bit and we just leave the state variable onto the low, um, low pass position. You might hear the difference there. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some scream to them. We'll just play around with some effects and see what we can come up with. So when we go back into the compressor, you can hear the difference. All right, so there's that there. So next, you wanna go ahead and put in a, in a different line channel, or excuse me, mix channel. Same thing with that. You put in a, you drop in a, a six dot two, and you can definitely use another Thor if you like. Um, for me, I would use the wave table. Same thing, state variable. Most of the stuff is really simple, so you don't necessarily have to do much. Mainly for uh, house music and trance. Um, you have to put a little bit of thought uh, towards dubstep and glitch hop because both of those are sound design as well as drum and bass depending on who you talk to. But most of the stuff is like relatively simple and some people are always like onesie, twosie people so they only remember like one note or something like that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and drop in some notes for that. Do the same thing. Make sure to hit the tab key so you can put the dynamics in. From the director, just go ahead and dra uh, drag that to the dy dynamics. And exact same thing, on, peak, fast, and pull these down. Yeah, that looks about right. The both of these are at um, 30.5. This was 95, 95 foot. I mean, depending on how you want your, um, how how much side chain you want to put into your um, your track there, so it makes sense. Okay, so next you want to go ahead and put in some notes. Usually, I just use like an, a a regular ARP just for reference. Let's kick that to the low pass. Keep wanting to save it. I don't want to save it. All right. So now you have your uh, basic set of beats here. So now you see, add a little bit of sound design in there if you want to. So now we have that. Uh, so next thing is we we'll, want we'll to go ahead and put in some uh, snares, not snares, but um, hi hats. So how to put that in? Go ahead and go back to the main drums here. So what you can do is you can 
put a um, compressor onto the main set of drums and I screwed up there. Let me try it again. So you can take this, put this here, take the output, put it into number two. <clears throat> and some this is where a lot of people do get confused. And so what I do is I actually put this in drum uh, in setting number one on the router. Doing the exact same thing as the rest of them. So every time you hit that beat. So now you just go ahead and put a, a, a decent set of notes in there. Uh, I'm sorry, hi-hats in there. So what you want to do is um, you want to go ahead and find a set of hi-hats. And I forget exactly where it was at right now. There we go. All right. So read drum, exclusive sound. Hi hats. Heavy dub might be a good one. You just write those notes in. So these are a unique set of notes to me. You can always use them if you want. Um, it's a set of rhythmic notes that I actually pulled from um, Virtual Riot. And this was back when, like back a couple years ago when he started doing, using those notes. So um, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what a set of notes that I use. All right, sorry for the weird cut there. It looks like uh, my video camera decided to turn off after about a, a set amount of minutes. So, um, so yeah, so you do have a, a good, decent set of notes there. And uh, go ahead and run. So yeah, um, that's just a basic, simple, simplistic set of notes for a good funky little 2020 track that you can put together for a uh, house music session there so yeah that's just one of the basic things i could easily put some more stuff into it i've just been kind of lazy lately <laughs> so if i were to make like if i were to put like spend like a whole day at this i probably would crank out like 10 house music tracks in just one go but I like to put a little bit of quality of my music, but it does take a little bit of brain work in order to do so. So, um, like I said, I'm putting some more stuff together for you guys to enjoy. Uh, but this is just like the basic portion of it. Again, this is Reason 10. I'm just using two Thors. And this could easily pass for, for a halfway decent um, house music track. And, uh, yeah, if you have any feedback for this, definitely... Um, uh, let us let me know exactly uh, what your you know what what you think about it, and yeah, destroy that like button, hit, put, uh, drop something to the comments, and um, I'll see you uh, next time on uh, YouTube. Uh, stay up, peace.